Art to me is the most relaxing yet rewarding thing we can never do for ourselves. And just like anything, creativity has its ups and downs. But as long as we give it time, love, and patience, we can turn a blank canvas into something amazing. On a quick note, you can always use a Pigma Micron ink pen. I picked this one up at Michael's Art Supplies. They say to use one of their Rizzo pens because it has carbon ink in it, but it's not necessary. The Micron pen would be fine. Carbon ink is what you'll need to have in your pens in order for the transfer to be successful when burning an original onto the master. I like to try and keep my line art as clean as possible, so I'm taking my time and making sure I don't cause any ink smudges along the way. While I continue sketching, here's a little fun fact. The first time I found out about the print GoCo was on YouTube. It was about a one minute demo. I had to have this as part of my DIY collection. I was able to pick this up on eBay for about 80 bucks. Please let me know in the comments below if you guys were able to find one for cheaper. The reason why I use mechanical detail erasers is because uh, with regular erasers there's some things you don't want to erase and with a, a finer point tip eraser you're able to just select certain areas of your drawing or your sketch um, just to clean it up so that's why um, I suggest using one of the mechanic erasers. Now we're going to go ahead and start the um, transfer with the GoCo print. Here I have the um, screen itself with one side with the flap. You want to put the flap side um, towards the outside. Uh, this part I'm showing you that in order to make good prints, you have to make sure that your drawing or your sketch is within the um, screen box, as you can see here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and use the uh, lamp to uh, make the imprint onto the screen. Once it flashes, you want to hold about like a couple seconds and you're ready to go. Um, I'm, right now I'm carefully peeling away the original. Um, and there you got it. Uh, the transfer has been made. You can kind of see um, the indentation on the screen. Careful, the bulbs are hot once uh, the flash goes off. The bad thing about these guys is they're one time use. I just decided to go with an acrylic paint because as soon as you're done with the print, 
you can uh, easily wash away the uh, acrylic paint and reuse the screen as opposed to using oil paints which would damage the print and therefore would no longer be usable. You want to make sure you cover all the areas um, as much as possible um, just so you don't leave any of the details out. The Strathmore uh, series um, paper is probably one of my favorites to use. For this demonstration, I'm using the marker paper. It's actually a thicker type of paper, almost like cardstock, and it holds the paint very well. For all the materials that I use today in this video, links will be in the descriptions below. I didn't like how the first print turned out. There's just too many blotchy areas on the upper left hand corner. The second one however was a little better but still looks a bit faded. As I continue to create more prints I notice depending on where I apply pressure I get different results. It's just something I have to keep messing with. Alright guys, that concludes the GoCo print experiment. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until then, stay creative my friends. Yours truly, Anuchit Sassan.